Right. Good afternoon, everybody. It's really nice to see you again. Um, how's your reading going? It's going all right? Okay. How many, how many words have you read this week, do you think? I think about 1,000. Well done. That's fantastic. Three cheers for you. That's really good. What book have you been particularly enjoying? I enjoyed so much uh, uh, ghost stories. Ghost stories. Lots of other ghost story lovers here, I know. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, talk about an experience that you all have had. I know that some of you in the class have had the chance to talk to a very good friend of mine, who's a film director, who talked to you a little bit about video and trailer productions you did. And I have to say, I'm really, really excited about what you've done. Because, you know, I'm an English teacher. Most of the time, I need you all to write, or maybe just speak. But to see your reactions to books on film is really exciting for an old teacher like me, because I just can't believe how you can master the technology and do all those things. And so I was really pleased that you had this chance to talk to uh, someone who really knows the business, so that you can uh, maybe tell us a little bit more about how we all can come better filmmakers, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I thought we'd do today is we would take your trailer, and trailers are really interesting because I didn't know that there were trailers for books. I mean, it's come as a complete surprise to me. I thought there were blurbs. That was about it as far as the sort of preview you got. And I thought, when I saw your trailer, I, thought, I, I really loved the idea, and I think it's a fantastic way to get people interested in the book. And also, I thought the way you did your film with lots of different scenes was fantastic, but I know that you picked a specific scene to look at, and we'll look at that. So what I'd like to do is, if you could bring your chairs around and put them here and here, mm -hmm. and, and then perhaps you can talk us through, first you with the trailer, and then you with your um, bit of your film, about what the film director told you and help us all to get better at filmmaking. And then maybe at the end, I might talk a little bit about language. Okay, this time. Great. Get yourself there. I will get a seat too. And my specs. Good. Great. It's movie time. Film director, tell you. Uh, he told me that uh, um, the picture weren't uh, uh, mine, so I could also uh, take them with my camera. Oh, what a good idea! That's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Do you like photography? Yes. 
I think that's a fantastic idea because you can do scary photographs too. Fantastic, yeah. And uh, he also said that uh, the um, effect uh, between two slides were uh, so Oh, wonderful! I think, I, I must say, I think they are brilliant as well. I think they're really, really good. I, I like, I mean, I just love the succession of images and the way you use the sound. Um, that was very, very good too. I thought that was, I really liked that. Um, if I were to make a suggestion, uh, I would make two suggestions. One is, do you know uh, on Word that you can get skull check? Do you know that? So what you do is you type in all your text onto a Word document and you run spell check through it to make sure your spellings are correct. Okay, that's, that's a very quick way. Otherwise, obviously, you can do it with a dictionary, just in case you're not sure. You can also refer back to the book just to remind yourself of certain spellings, like the word judge. Judge is a really difficult word because it has a D and a G in it, and you don't hear them. So it's very easy to misspell judge. Okay, so I recommend a dictionary, spell check, or checking the book again. And just to tell you, that it's called proofreading in English, being very careful about, particularly something that you publish like this, is really important because um, we all make mistakes. I, I cannot tell you. When I, I, I did my, I did my MA quite recently, I, I did, um, and I submitted, I mean, before I submitted it, I cannot tell you the number of times I proofread it for mistakes. Because it's so easy for them to creep in, because you look at the text all the time, and then you just don't see the mistakes anymore, okay? So that would be my one hint there. And the other hint is, I love the Gothic font. I think it's really beautiful. But for me, visually, I'm very blind. And it's, it's a font that's not very easy to read. So either you make it a little bit bigger, or you make the contrast with the background a bit stronger, or you choose another font. Because it's very important that it be legible. And remember, not everybody has good eyesight. And I have terrible eyesight. And if, if I can't read it, it's, it's, it, it takes a little bit away from the pleasure. But otherwise, I think it's great. What did you all think about it? Yes, I was very scared seeing this trailer. And uh, it was a very great uh, um, atmosphere. Yeah. Um, uh, I like very much the idea and, um, uh, about, uh, about, about uh, the words. I think we to, uh, they should be uh, bigger because uh, I do have some problem to see, to read right. them. So that's helpful. What did you think? I think okay. she did a very great job with the amount of the uh, of the field. Yes, I think, that's, I, I think it's great. Fantastic. But you've gone away with some good ideas. So I'm really looking forward to your next training. So will you do us another one soon, please? Yes. Good. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to see yours, aren't we? Where you, what, which bit have you picked of your film? Uh, yes, this is the part of the interviews yeah. uh, that we, um, we made at school. Uh, so there are students, teachers, and uh, every kind of people of every oh, so that's, age. So that's great that you've got a, a, a big audience and a big group of people to do it for you. That's fantastic. Okay, shall we see it and then you tell us what, what you've heard? Okay. Okay, prepare it, so let's start. Because um, it's interesting, and because when I have some free time, um, I think it's more interesting reading books. I like reading because it helps exploring our soul. I like reading because reading means a dream, sometimes a nightmare, often an illusion. We both like reading because it improves our imagination. Uh, I like reading uh, well because I can learn something uh, and uh, I can escape from reality and I completely identify myself with the character. I like reading because poetry makes you a better person. I love to read because it brings you to a different location. <laughs> oh well, I love reading. Books are my friends because when I have something uh, I want uh, to know, something I like, something, when I need some some opening to the walls, so then I have a book. And books are extraordinary, they have a smell. 
I do not read it. Define me with the character I prefer. As a reader, I can uh, find the imagination. Okay. I like reading because you can get into a fantastic world where you can identify with different characters. Thanks, I read them As you see, the answers were many and different. But the most popular were... I have to say, I loved the spontaneity of those interviews. I thought, and I can tell, I know who was the English teacher there. <laughs> you can tell at a shot. They have that mad eye. All English teachers are the same. Great. Tell me what, what you heard from the, um, from the uh, film director. What did he say? Uh, uh, he told us uh, uh, about the uh, it was better if they were, they were shorter because uh, different were um, too, um, too long and um, it, yeah. a bit discursive, too many, yeah, too yeah. much, and repetition too. And um, another important thing about, about the light because uh, uh, somewhere um, we couldn't see very good because the light were uh, under the subject. And yes, yeah. from underneath and also behind. From behind, yeah. And, and um, it was an important thing. Um, and another thing was... Uh, yes, um, in general we have to give uh, uh, time for every interview, like 30 seconds. And um, other advices were, for example, that if you want to make a video, uh, you have to choose um, uh, images or music, maybe uh, like music. Uh, you can play um, yourself the music. Yes, and uh, this is a very, very important point. Yes, um, mm -hmm. and this is maybe something I should talk to you right now. Whenever, and this is true of written work as well as images and music, we have to be very careful with something called intellectual property which is means the idea, the words, the music, the images that some other person has made. Uh, we have to be very careful the way we use them. And if we do use them, we must acknowledge them, okay? Because you're students, you don't have to pay for the images so much, except for music, of course, you shouldn't pay for music. Um, so you can download music on your iTunes, for example, but you always pay for that, don't you? But streaming music without paying for it is actually illegal. I, you, you know, we all get into trouble. Uh, and so it's very important that you respect intellectual property. You don't commit plagiary, which is when you take somebody else's writing, somebody else's images, and somebody else's music and say it belongs to you by putting it in your work and not acknowledging them. So at the end of what you do, just write at the bottom acknowledging the sources that you've used. In the same way that, for example, when you write uh, an academic paper for school uh, and you've taken the, a quotation from somebody, you know, you always say where it comes from. It's exactly the same exercise. Okay, that's very, very important. I, I have to say, I loved this bit of the film because I loved the spontaneity you had there. I thought that was really, really nice. What I think is important when you don't have native speakers speaking, give them a moment to think about what they'll say and remind them to speak clearly, because um, if I had been uh, their teacher at that time, I would have suggested, you know, make sure that they speak slowly enough and clearly enough, and that they know what they're saying enough to come across clearly, because when you're filming in an informal way like this, there's so much background noise that it's very easily um, the words are very easily eaten or lost by the background sound. So if it doesn't come out the first time, check it and then maybe go back to your person you're recording once more. What do you all think? What did you think of this, this, this uh, production? The idea was really good and uh, I think that uh, uh, obviously in the class
once there were some bad sounds, but uh, it's uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's it's very natural having the background sound. It's 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 because you've not done it in a recording studio, so it seems like you did it in school. I don't know if you've ever seen a film called The Blair Witch Project, where you have this sense of very real, very live cinema. It makes it very uh, realistic, and it, 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 it makes it seem absolutely as if that's what happened, which I suspect is what it is. What did you think? I think that uh, this video uh, should be published on the internet uh, school press. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Now, one thing I'd like to say is how much I enjoy this kind of interpretation of your reading and re, re, recreating your experience. I think this is a, an extraordinarily powerful way of making reading belong to you. Uh, you're not using your reading experience to just parrot the story and tell the story back. You're using reading to reimagine that world that the author has written in words. And I think this is a extraordinary thing. It's very creative and it makes it all your own. You will never forget that book because of the way you responded to it. Okay? You will never ex forget this experience from filming people and hearing what they have to say about reading because you were involved in it visually, orally, and in the spoken word. So very well done. I'm really pleased and keep up the fantastic work. And we'll meet again next week. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.